As a person myself who's been playing music in town here uh, since the mid '90s, I hate to admit, but <laughs> the uh, uh, I know that there have been different types of committees that have tried to do this in the past, and I guess I'd like to know what you what your plan is because I know in the past there was a committee that was attempting to try and bring healthcare for musicians, musicians that were being able to or that were playing out and doing it as a form of income. Uh, when you do, you can only really make a certain amount in town, or yeah. at least that's the way it was. Um, and, and also this may be something you're trying to adjust or uh, address as well, which is more money mm-hmm. for musicians. Like right now playing in town here, it's not lucrative. Like, like no. even, even if you do get shows, you're I usually know. offered about like, maybe you'll get $75 for a group of f- five, seven people on stage. Uh, even if it's a good night or maybe if it's a good night, you'll get a hundred dollars. That That's the thing as well. And solo musicians, they at least, or, uh, you know, uh, solo acts or whatever, they at least get the benefit of not having to split that pay. But there are now, and I say this not out of doubting you. I say, please, what is the plan? Because I'd love, I've seen it happen before and it never seems to really, uh, it kind of happens. There's a committee to do it. And then I never really have seen it through. So I guess I am really curious about like what type of stuff you are trying or the ideas or other things that you Mm -hmm. have planned for musicians, because as one myself, I would like to know. And of course you're one yourself. So that's, I do like that. I like that there's a musician involved. Yeah. And, and, and I've experienced that a lot because I started singing with a band uh then realizing that you know like five hundred dollars being split by eight ten people Mm -hmm. you end up like with very little money which by the way where are you playing for five hundred dollars because even i don't know where that is oh festivals (laughs) oh festivals good valid Uh, point okay the scenario (laughs) you're right go if you play let's say uh orton park Mm -hmm. orton west or fed the maquette Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like what they say, but um, um, like I I wouldn't be able to right now to give you the answer like, hey, this is exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, because, you just got started, and I don't expect you to have one. I'm curious what your plans are. Yeah, because the main idea is to determine what the economic impact in music is right now, first of all, mm-hmm. and by that I mean how much a concert uh, brings. To the economy in reality when when i mean the economy i mean how much in sales for drink and beverages how much uh in hotel rooms how much obviously in tickets and other expenses that um go that go beyond just the the concert per se um for example one of the things that we want to work on is the inclusion part of it like you have concerts who is opening that for that big artist who is opening, who is m- taking part of that money, right? We want local musicians to open yeah. to be uh, a popular artist. So that might be one of the uh, potential outcomes of it. So we we, we need partnerships. Uh, we've been talking to Frank Productions, the Overture Center, um, Destination Mice, and different organizations that uh, see music as a big piece of their economy, especially the uh, the tourism part. So um, making them work with us as well, like why don't we have local musicians um, in, in standardize the um, the payment for them? Because that's that's one of the biggest problems that uh, in so many cases there is not. An awareness about the value of music. Mm-hmm. Uh, I receive emails. Hey, do you wanna play? I don't know at this specific place, and you get an amazing exposure. People offer you exposure at a bar. Yeah. So it's like real exposure, but they 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 pretend that oh, they will yes. pay you exposure. Like I, I mentioned play, so it's not really. Uh, real exposure so what 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 are people expecting from a musician uh given that you spent so much money on equipment we were talking about all the equipment that i have here Uh, it's a lot of money it's like most of my money goes to 
hey, let's buy a guitar, let's buy, you know. In the yeah. lessons, I have to pay for lessons, I have to spend time um, practicing. As I said, uh, I decided to go as a solo artist, so I, 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 I have to learn music. Mm -hmm. Like for the theory of music, I have to learn how to play the guitar so I can have good sounds while I sing. So th those those things um, are not really uh, a value for people, or, or, or they just forget about it. Yeah. They just see the product, right? They just see those three minutes, four minutes that you are sharing your art. Mm -hmm. But it's like you know, it's just five minutes. How much will you charge for for a song that is just five minutes? Yeah. Just do it for free because it's just five minutes, five minutes of your time. But if you go to a lawyer, the lawyer is not going to charge you <laughs> for five minutes. <laughs> so we want to we want to build awareness. Uh, we want to uh, raise the voice of uh, local musicians, especially musicians who uh, don't have the access to stages. And by that, I mean um, diversify our genres, not only rock, not only blues, not mm -hmm. only music but a uh, hip-hop artist uh, without the stigma of uh, what goes with hip-hop that's yeah. unfortunate and so we we it's 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 a big work because it's not only a social type of work it's an economic work that um, it's it's a plan that we have to uh, design with this uh, consultant firm because the main idea of hiring some diplomacy is because we don't we don't know we, we don't have the expertise that mm -hmm. they have. We have worked in um, many cities around um, the U.S. and around the world, and they, they know how to gather the data, how to interpret the data. Mm -hmm. So uh, we want to work with them and and, and see and see what comes out out of this. Um, so that's why I said I don't have like the specifics. Oh yeah. I can tell you that we want to partner with different organizations uh, in Madison, so uh, we make sure that we work collaboratively because that, that's something that we are missing right now, um, how we can raise the voices of uh, the underserved populations, um, the stigmatized uh, genres uh, like hip hop, um, how we bring local artists to the big venues uh, in, in very well paid stages so they get the exposure and they get paid very well because I know what you might think is oh but you know musicians if you're not in the top 10 mm -hmm. uh, state you know you don't make really good music really good money so how can you do that and it's um, we have a long way to go, but it's a matter of also raise awareness of the importance of music in our health and in our tourism.